Welcome to our package, top-down character system with fantasy golems. Our project opens with this test level by default. Let's have a look at the folder structure first. First we have the character folder, this is our basic character. Here is our golem character, which inherits from the basic one. Basic character is a base class for all other characters. Here are the functions that the child characters inherit from the basic character. Golem character has its own blueprint with extended functions for cape, weapons, and head props. In the common folder we have blueprints used by all the characters. Head props folder has helmets and head props that the golems can wear. In the levels we have this test level where you can test the characters. In the weapons folder we have blueprints for all the weapons golems can use. For instance, bow, dagger, sword. We have rigs and animations folder, as you can see this one has to be opened externally in explorer. Common folder has some blueprints that have to be in the level for characters to work. BP character data is needed in the level as well as BP camera pong. BP character data initializes sounds and images, while camera pong controls the camera. Let's start our level to see what this is all about. As you can see the characters are playing their idle animation. For navigation we have mouse cursor. To scroll we press, WSAD. Rolling middle mouse will zoom in and out. That's it for navigation, it's really simple. WSAD and mouse roll. We also have this panel on screen right. To pick a character click on choose unit button, then click on the character. So here we picked basic character, this one doesn't support weapons, capes, or head props. But you can override this character color if you like. You can make the character semi-transparent if you want. Let's set his color to blue. We can play different animations on this character, by default it's playing idle animation. Let's choose walk and play. We can choose run. It will play the footstep sounds for both. We can play attack animation. Defend is another one. Lot of animations are available, let's choose one of his abilities, magic ability. If you want you can put animation on the loop. We can play sounds with animations if we choose to. Now he will keep on attacking, we can shoot a projectile every time he attacks. Useful if you want to time the projector or expand this functionality in your game. All you need to do is modify initialize animations function in the blueprint. Let's get him to play the idol now. We can also kill the character, that will kill the collisions and ticking. Then we can resurrect the character. We can get the character to turn to given target. We can also get the character to move to target. He will perform walk cycle to target, it's blending between running and walking. Our golem character works the same, but it has more functions. Let's turn him towards us first. 
Different weapons can be turned on, like a sword. We can add a shield as well. He can have different kinds of capes, but we can also change his armor. Default armor is stone, we can switch to silver, bronze, or titanium. I like the silver version. Color overriding works with different armors capes and weapons. Animation table looks the same, depending on the weapons this character will play different attack and defend animations. Those are his sword attack animations, there are two different variants. Feel free to turn on projectile to see the timing of it. Let's move him over there. Walking sounds will depend on the kind of armor we choose. Cape can be enabled and disabled or changed. When you kill the character cape disappears, then it gets respawned when he's resurrected. There are some other settings for animations as well. Let's give him different weapon combo, two swords this time. We can lower the speed of this animation. The projectile and sound will also be offset. Let's pick the other guy now. This is also a golem character. As we select him the weapons and settings will reset. Let's move him over there, and give him a bow this time. Let's turn him towards us and get him to attack. Let's enable projectile preview. That's how it looks from the side. We also have secondary attacks for some weapons. For ranged weapon secondary attack is a punch. Let's disable projectile preview so it's more straightforward. Normal attack shoots an arrow. We can give him crossbow for a change. If we give him secondary dagger, he will stab with it as a secondary attack. Let's have a look at secondary attack from the front. Let's give our previous guy a shield and see what happens with secondary attack. Turn off shield is not only for defense, but also attack. So those are the main functionalities of the characters in this package. Let's kill them all now. That's all in the nutshell, but the characters have a lot of different functions that can be modified. This project is considered a starting point for your game. Manual for all the functions, their descriptions, and their attributes can be found on our website, Cornica 3D. Cornica 3D dot click slash manual slash golem dot text. It might be updated in the future, right now it has all the information about the blueprints assets and their functions. Let's now have a look at what's in rigs and animations folder. You will see there is a compressed Maya project file. Go ahead and extract it, I saved it on my local D drive. Inside there is a Maya project with all the folders. Once you extract it, go to Maya and set the project to the main extracted folder. Now if you go open scenes, you will see character rig in the scenes folder.
Character rig is ready for animation has all the controls, can be moved around. It has IK and FK modes for limbs. You can also load weapons for preview and testing. Cape can also be shown or hidden. There are selection sets for animation controls and bones. To animate this rig I would make a new scene and reference it into it. Use file, create reference. Make sure the namespace is char. You can change it here in reference editor. Now you are ready for animation. To see or change existing animations go to scene slash MA folder. Any of those animations are polished up and ready for export. This is the two swords attack we saw earlier. Die animation is another example. All of the animations used in project are saved in this folder. If you want to export your own animation as FBX, you can easily do it. We have a script to save an FBX for you. The script can be found in Maya project slash script folder. Just drag it into the viewport. Now you can specify FBX file name and save. Wait for the exporting to finish and make sure to save your scene first. That's it for this package. Thanks for watching. For more information send email to cornica3d at gmail.com. Make sure to visit our website at cornica3d.click. We have Unreal characters, Unity characters, useful tools, and CG tutorials.